rising number of stolen SNAP benefits here in Northeast Ohio. A new law allows some of these families to get reimbursed, but only those targeted since October of last year. Now a local law firm says that's not enough. Katie Wilson has the story you'll see on just one station. They use the cards that are issued to them. Uh, they're doing everything they're supposed to do, and they go to the store and the money just isn't there. It's a story we're hearing about more and more often. Families on food assistance shocked to find out their SNAP That's benefits a, are gone. That tells you when, exactly when it was taken. Mm -hmm. What's even worse, there's no way for these families to get that money back until at the earliest, the end of July. That's when the Ohio Department of Jobs and Family Services new plan to reimburse people kicks into action. But it's only for those stolen from between October of 2022 until next year when the policy expires. A law firm now says that needs to change. We brought a class action lawsuit against uh, the USDA uh, for failing to reimburse people that through no fault of their own. Uh, have had their benefits stolen. Attorney Jeff Crossman of Dan Law wants all people who've been stolen from to be refunded, not just those that fit the ODJFS's time window. The lawsuit also calls for the government to rethink how it runs the SNAP benefit program and step up its technology to protect its participants. They're using the old debit cards that don't have the chips in them, and the chips are important, you know. Um, it, it, they're security devices and it, it prevents, it's much harder to steal funds off of a debit card with a chip than it is with uh, the old style cards. In the meantime, Crossman recommends those on food assistance targeted by thieves before October, contact Dan Law. You may be entitled to join this lawsuit. Reporting in Lakewood, Katie Wilson, 19 News.